Hello, if you are any type of new here, my name is Anna and I am a master social work student, which I'm sure I put in the title of this video, so you probably already know that, but I am in grad school and then I'm also doing my field placement along with a few other things in my life. And this is my first week in the life in a hot second. And so welcome to the week in my life. So glad you're here. I just got home from my internship. My internship is at a youth detention center where I'm just a mental health intern working for that department. And today was a whirlwind. Today was, <laughs> I hardly saw sat down, but that's okay. We like busy days. It made the day zoom by so fast. And it was just full of, I did isolation rounds. So whenever kids get put on isolation, you like go check on them, make sure they're doing fine, make sure they have what they need, whether they need like books or whatever they need. You do two of those a day, which took a second for each because then you gotta enter notes and send emails and do paperwork for all of those kids. I also did our special management plan book, which is just if a child is at a higher risk to themselves, then they, more documentation, more checking on, etc. which that actually didn't take too long today because I could just lower one kid back to like regular routine observation. So that didn't take too much. And then another facility in the area is short staffed and had a lot to do today. And so I zoomed in to do a biopsychosocial on a youth from a different facility who's actually female, which I've never worked with females before. So that was fun. I'm gonna type up her whole life story, her little biopsychosocial, <laughs> if you're a social work major. Did rounds, it was, it was a full day. I was kind of running all over the place. But like I said, it was a good day. Like the day went by fast. It was all good things. Wasn't too stressful. I feel like I need like to decompress, but just from like the busyness, like it wasn't like, it wasn't a super emotionally taxing day or anything. What will be emotional taxing tonight is tonight's the national championship, Alabama versus Georgia, which if you've been here for a second, if you were a real OG, you know that I graduated from the University of Alabama last May. And so obviously that is who I'm rooting for, but I live in Georgia now. And so I'm surrounded by the enemy. <laughs> but that's the plan for tonight. I'm also gonna go work out, maybe walk. I haven't quite decided on that one yet. I guess it depends on if I can charge my phone or not, but definitely go work out, eat something because I'm starving. <laughs> and of course, schoolwork because I'm a grad student. So no matter how much work I do, there's always more work to be done. I know where I'd rather be tonight. I know where I'd rather be tonight Playing with fire with you Playing with fire with you I'm tired of being in love and on my own I'm tired of being in love and all alone Hey, happy Wednesday. It's been a second since we talked, but that's kind of because Tuesday and Wednesday are like my weekend because I always do work over Saturday and Sunday to get ready for like my classes throughout the week. But then I'm off of my internship these two days. So all I've been doing is like chilling and then also like actually doing some actual work too. I had class last night. It was my trauma treatment in children adolescence class and it went well. It's more just like case studies and then like discussing what's going on and kind of practicing using the different treatment methods that were learning about so it's been really cool because I haven't known too much about like how to actually treat trauma so I like that it's focusing on like what to actually do big fan of that I have class again tonight it's my field seminar class so this one doesn't happen every week usually I'll just have like nothing on Wednesdays but the seminar is like for my internship but it's like with other students in my cohort and we sometimes will do like case presentations we'll sometimes just like talk about our experience in our internship and our field placement and it's just a good way to kind of like touch base with others who are going through the same thing as you and then also there's like little topics that we talk about each meeting I think today's is like mindfulness but it kind of varies on how much we actually talk about those versus just like talk about our actual experiences because I feel like talking about the actual experiences in internships is like what is beneficial and what people really enjoy so 
so that was class yesterday that's class tonight other than that i've i need to address the elephant in the room no pun intended um so national championship was monday remember i think last time i talked was pre-monday night and monday night r.i.p roll tide georgia won see the thing is i'm like not that into football like it really like i'm not that butthurt that alabama lost except that i've been running my little roll tide mouth all over town to so many different people about how much we were gonna win <laughs> and now it's embarrassing so if you don't follow football it was the national championship on monday night the team who won was gonna be the national champions and they already played this season now they have won but this time they played again and I'm, I'm happy for georgia i really am no yeah but the past two days i've done some workouts i'm actually about to head there now after my phone gets a little bit more charged and i've also done some like prep work for this weekend because my little side gig my little side hustle is teaching like sat act kind of tutoring kind of classes type things and i've been training for it all of last semester but then this saturday is my first like actual class starting like it'll be three hours online i'm teaching it's a bit nerve-wracking like granted like this is what i've been preparing for but and i know it'll be fine but i also know like i'll be sweating so much during it you know what i mean like it will go fine it just it definitely makes me feel a bit of anxiety and so that's why i've been prepping for it so that the content part of it just like won't even be a worry as i'm doing it but that's this saturday which is a cause of stress in my life so i've been doing lots of prep for that i've been been scrolling through TikTok like it's my full-time job. I've been watching YouTube videos like it's my full-time job. I finished all of my classwork for my research and evaluation class that's on Thursday and I actually haven't vlogged because last week I vlogged the first day of school which was Tuesday and then I didn't vlog on the Thursday and so Thursday was the like first day of my second class which is my research and evaluation class and so it's fine it seems like like it's not the most interesting thing to me and it's not like super applicable to what I'm doing right now. Now, but also like I don't hate it like it's not my least favorite class and so the readings have just been so far like a review of research so like the stuff that you learn in like seventh grade science class about like independent variables dependent variables but then also like how to set up a study like which studies hold more weight and like how to make sure studies are valid and reliable and all of that so that class is gonna be Thursday it went well last week like I said I didn't vlog so I guess I hadn't told you that yet but second class went well there's a couple people who are in both of my classes which is kind kind of funny because like the cohorts are really big like it's an online program and so like a lot of it's like a few hundred people and somehow these people we just chose the same classes for this little quarter yes but as i said i'm about to go work out and my plan today my wednesdays my with my little workout split that i'm doing are supposed to be abs and cardio so i think what i'm gonna do is do stairs for maybe like 20 minutes maybe 30 if i'm feeling great but that's a big if because that's a that's a treacherous feat there and then just hop on the elliptical for some, I don't know how long after that. I guess it kind of just all depends on how I feel. And then I guess because it's abs and cardio, I should do abs when I get home. I don't know. I rarely do like just ab exercises. So I don't really know why I chose abs and cardio, but for some reason those went together in my head. So abs and cardio, it's a beautiful day today. Oh, this is the activity I've been doing for like the past hour. I didn't even mention. I've been going through my closet and like downsizing because there's a lot of stuff that I just don't wear. And like some of it I used to wear and it's just like not me anymore a lot of my closet I've had since I was like 16 <laughs> and I still do wear like a lot of it but not all of it and then some stuff it's like I bought it and I just really never liked it and you know I feel like I can't own something for like a year and a half and never wear it and keep it because I'm oh maybe one day I'll wear it like no I, I haven't yet so like chances are I won't be so what I have is this huge bag now <laughs> of clothes part of the bag i've had since i think even the summer i like cleaned out my closet and filled that bag up like halfway and then just like never found a place to drop it off because honestly with covid a lot of places still aren't taking clothing donations i know some are but not a lot of places are but now that i have like the whole entire bag i will be finding somewhere for it to go i think i'm gonna carry it down to my car as i head out to my workout just so that next time i have the chance i can take it somewhere yeah but other than that I've been resting. I've been getting some stuff done. I've been doing a lot of like planning content wise for YouTube, TikTok. I even posted some Instagram reels this week. Never have I ever done that before. But I feel like because I've spent so much like time 
planning for YouTube, TikTok, all of that. I've spent less time like actually vlogging and that's why we went like the Monday until Wednesday of me talking. But the second half of the week, I'll work on vlogging more. I'm still just kind of getting like in the swing of things because last week was my first week back. And then obviously like now there's this week. So this is just my second week. And December, like at the end of last semester, I was doing Vlogmas. So kind of everything was mixed up routine wise and like YouTube wise. So I'm getting back into the swing of things, but I know there's some new subscribers. So you might not know what the old swing of things was, but we're getting back into it. Starting with this workout we're about to go do. Okay, all ready for the gym. This is my little OOTD. Just got my shorts on. I'm probably not, this is probably not gonna last that long since I'm planning on doing stairs today. But then stuff I'm bringing with me, obviously water bottle, that's important. I'm bringing a mask. Usually when I go, there's not people in there. So if there's not people in there, then I don't wear my mask. But if there is someone else in there, usually I'll just put it on. As a courtesy, got my AirPods, phone, obviously. This is the book I'm reading right now. I can't read when I do stairs, but when I go on elliptical, I like to read. So this one's called The Woman They Could Not Silence. It's about a woman named Elizabeth Packard who did a lot for women's rights. And what happened to her was that her husband sent her away to an insane asylum in the like 1860s. And she found out that she had like no rights since she was married to him. It was like a husband could just like say his wife was crazy and she could get locked away. So that's, I haven't gotten far in it at all. So I don't know like yet what she's done or like how this is worked out for her. but it is really interesting i originally like i got this as an advanced readers copy but it came out in june 22nd of last year so like i did not read it right away but it is good so <laughs> it just took me a second to get there oh also i got my long socks on today which just makes me i don't know feel like a professional soccer player or something but i love it I haven't talked about this recently, but if you watched my Vlogmas videos, no point in going back if you haven't. But if you did, then you'll remember that I talked for about 10 consecutive days about the fact that my gym was closed and I just had never like updated past that like since I've been home, but my gym is still closed. So that's why like I've been driving to the other gym that's further away and sometimes I'll walk there, but usually I'll be driving there. And the one that's close to me is still closed. And I kind of forgot about it, to be honest. The other day I went to check on it and there's still like no equipment, no flooring anything and they said that it was going to take like three weeks at the beginning of december so now we're hot six weeks later and it doesn't look like it's going to open again anytime soon so good thing i found the other gym and i'm using it now as of right now i have just about two hours before class starts my seminar class which honestly doesn't need any prep for it i just like need to be ready i wasn't originally going to wash my hair today but the amount that i just sweat i will be now washing my hair today and so i'm gonna do that i was gonna go with zach to get his hair cut but i kind of think maybe he's just gonna go without me now because he's going at five so i don't even know if i'd be able to wash my hair in that time and get to it and like i don't need to be there for his haircut it would just be kind of fun the haircut has been long awaited it really has been i remember in october i was going to set him an appointment at like an actual like salon uh <laughs> barber i don't know whatever you call it for men and the appointment was going to be two weeks away like in october like it was going to be mid-october he was like no i don't think i can wait that long and then somehow we blinked and now it's mid-january and get excited i have about 10 minutes until class right now so to do a little to-do list check up for the day i cut myself on a dumbbell the other day this was the leftover work for my research class that i needed to do this was the videos and readings i needed to do for the seminar that's tonight this is my prep for work on saturday and so i finished like i reviewed a baseline test and i emailed some students who hadn't tested yet um but i haven't reviewed like all of the slides yet that of the stuff that i need to teach because honestly i kind of feel like if i do it wednesday that's not like super helpful for saturday like i feel like i'll forget it by then so i'm gonna do that later social media wise i posted a reel today that was on my to-do list i vlogged today so that was on my to-do list i wrote vlog all day i don't know if this really counts as vlogging all day but i did vlog today there was another video plan that i wanted to get done that i just didn't but that's okay let's see i did my cardio which you saw i got so super sweaty and stinky from that i'm all showered now though i started laundry it's not done it's in the washer right now i'm gonna check and see if it can get moved to dryer before class starts oh there's someone i need to text that i haven't done it yet because i'm kind of dreading it it's one of those texts that like it's not a big deal but it's like i'm dreading sending it that's all i can say and then i didn't really get any work started for next 
week like I kind of thought I might but I did email one of my professors a mandated reporter training that I did in September because the like assignment for the week like your participation for the week came from doing a mandated reporter training if you haven't already but I kind of think in every internship that people could be in for social work they would have had to do a mandated reporter training so like I already did mine so I just had to email her and say that I did the mandated reporter maybe this is common knowledge I don't know if it's just common knowledge to me because I'm in social work or if it is to everyone but it depends on the job that you have so like teachers are mandated reporters social workers are mandated reporters I feel like doctors are mandated reporters like it's just kind of those professions and it just means that if you have reason to believe that a child or like an elder or an adult with disabilities are being abused that you have to report it to child protective services or adult protective services accordingly so those trainings that are just kind of like what to look for what are the red flags so that you'd be able to kind of make an educated decision on when you need to report and when you don't yeah class starts in 10 minutes though class is all finished it was two hours long and it felt like the full two hours but i'm not gonna lie to you i was actually editing this video during a lot of it so <laughs> so i was still a little bit productive even though it felt very very long it was just a lot of talking which like it's good to hear other people talk but also you know sometimes it just it, it felt long i was about to get my to-do list ready for tomorrow and like be all prepared but i think really what i need to do at this point is just like chill down and not like my thoughts are organized enough like i can wake up tomorrow and worry about the to-do list so the rest of the night i'm gonna be switching out my laundry doing my skincare reading my book and i'm not gonna take the vlog camera for it just so i can be fully relaxed so close your eyes picture what it looks like and i'll see you tomorrow morning When I wake up in the middle of the night And I feel wide awake cause I've got you on my mind I go walking out in the streets with the stars above me cause I can't go back to sleep Good morning, sweet little loves of my life. Right now it is 6.28 a.m. I woke up at five this morning and have just been editing a video and ate breakfast and drank coffee and did all of that. And I'm about to go get ready, even though I don't have to leave for like another hour and a half, but just so I can be ready before I actually start doing like other work, you know, because sometimes what will happen is I'll wake up at five and I don't need to leave until eight and I'll just get so carried away that I'll still make myself run late because I don't get ready in time. So I'm trying to fix that by getting ready early, but I wanted to sit down kind of like I mentioned I would yesterday and do a little to-do list. I think not just for today, but just for today, Friday, and Saturday, since I kind of think that those are probably gonna go by in a bit of a whirlwind, not gonna lie. So so starting with Thursday, in the morning, I edited this video. I'm putting it on here, even though I already did it like up until this point, just because then I can cross it off. Edited video, and then we'll start on school after I get ready. Then we have internship. And then today afterwards, I have class, but I'm gonna do school work I think before that as well. School, class, Friday, I'm gonna do prep for my work. Remember the slides that I haven't done yet? Slides. And then I have my internship. And then that's gonna be my main goal for afterwards too because I don't know actually how much time I'll get to study. After my internship on Friday, Zach's parents are gonna be here and so I don't know if we're doing something. If not, then I'd be glad to study because they're gonna be here the whole weekend but we'll just see. That's gonna be kind of flexible. And then on Saturday itself, I'm gonna need to review for that class just because it's stressing me out. I don't want it to go poorly. I think my biggest worry is that there'll be technical difficulties because I just don't know how to handle that. So that's my biggest worry. Um, now I actually have the class then, and then the plan is to do school like after. So then what we need to know is whenever I'm actually working on school, what will I be doing? And this I kind of wrote on yesterday's to-do list. Oops, that's not yesterday. This little notepad has all of my to-do lists since like September. Yeah, so that's the plan. Today, the little Thursday, Friday, Saturday is the beginning of the whirlwind. I go into my internship as I just wrote, but I go into my internship today and tomorrow. And then, granted, I like need to knock on wood whenever I say this, but I think today and tomorrow won't be as busy as Monday was, because on Monday, like I mentioned in the beginning of the vlog, I was responsible for the isolation rounds, the special management plan book, and then I also did the like mental health assessment. And today, I'm just responsible for the special management plan book and then I need to see a kid either today or tomorrow so I'll see whether it happens today or tomorrow we usually we can't like pull them from school to see them just because like that's important um but the kids go to school every other day and so like if he's in school today then I'll see him tomorrow but if he's in school tomorrow then I'll see him today so I don't know yet if I'm gonna be seeing him today or not but I need to see that kid and then tomorrow it's the same thing where I'm just responsible for the special management plan book so the isolation rounds are not on me and that was what took up the majority of the time on Monday <laughs> See the dog that lives down the road He's howling at the moon Cause he's locked in his own home I say hey boy 
But how you doing? And he stops for a moment, wags his tail and keeps on grooving. Trees cast shadows from the moon up above And I think that the moon and me might just fall in love I don't know why I feel this way But I got you on my mind so everything's okay I'm home! <laughs> the study method thing that I did this morning actually really worked for me Like getting the ready and then like doing the studying after that I got like a chapter and a half done of my trauma treatment work Which is not my class for tonight My class for tonight that actually starts in an hour and a half Which is more time than I thought I would be having right now But starts in an hour and a half as my violation and research class Today was a good day at jail Wasn't too busy, got a lot done Um, I need to see a kid tomorrow Like I have to see him tomorrow because I did not see him today And so that's like, I don't know, not stressful But I just like, I have to do it tomorrow but overall things went smooth i feel like i'm slowly becoming more and more of a social worker each day just just a little bit you know i forgot to ever update you on this but yesterday how i was mentioning zach's haircut it didn't end up happening there's this place that he's tried to go to he's successfully gone there probably like three or four times and then the past two times he's tried to go because he tried to go i think it was in december and he went in december and he was like just wanted to walk in because that's what we've done before and he walked in and they did, like didn't have any open times for the rest of the day so they're like sorry we can't take you today that's fine that's normal whatever and so this time yesterday he called in the morning and was like hey i would like to come get my hair cut today what time works and they said 5 p.m and so he had been planning on his 5 p.m. haircut and that's what I talked about and he got there at 5 p.m. and it was like all lights off doors locked and there was a closed sign on it so the haircut did not happen I know that's such a like mundane tiny little detail but just just didn't want to leave you hanging the other thing that I don't want to leave you hanging on so this was in my preparing for a new semester video so go watch that if you have it. But I tried to order Taylor Wood Broma Almond Butter. It's like a mocha almond butter. She collaborated with them to come up with this almond butter. And I was like this like queen of nut butters. Like I trust her more than anything with the flavor of a good nut butter and wanted to support her. So I ordered it. It arrived or was supposed to arrive on December 21st and somehow my mailbox refused it. I think it could have just fit in my mailbox, but somehow it was refused. It was not delivered. And I got a notification from USPS saying it's being held at a post office, come find it. And so I. I got home and I went to try to find it on January 3rd because I wasn't here. I was back in Missouri for the holidays. Come back. Went back to go try to find it on January 3rd. Took like some effort getting to the post office, whatever. This is all story time in the other video. Um, And I went there and they couldn't find it, but the guy was like, just leave your name and number and I'll keep looking for it and I'll call you to let you know what happens. And so I was like, okay, sounds good, whatever. Just trying to get my almond butter here, sir. Um, And so I left and it was the day after. So I went on a Monday. So it must have been the next Tuesday night at like, 9 30 10 p.m so i wasn't awake i was asleep by that point so i saw the next morning wednesday morning i got a call and a voicemail and he was saying like hi this is blah blah i'm not gonna expose him on the internet from usps calling for anna i'm calling from my personal cell phone but just wanted to touch base with you to let you know that i couldn't find your package but i'm so sorry i'll keep trying except actually we have to send it back now if we find it because the date's up I don't know why I said all that. And he was like, but if you want to come back into the post office, I'll be there tomorrow. So you can just ask for blah, blah. I'm not exposing him like I said before. And we'll we'll work together. We can help you get this package. And I never responded to it because I was like, if you couldn't find it the first time, like, I don't know what's magically going to change. Especially when they told me that like the date has passed, like they'd held it for long enough. So they're going to have to send it back. But that was just weird. Like it was a weird interaction. I didn't respond. But I did email Broma, the company. I think they're like at Eat Broma on Instagram. I emailed Broma and was like, I know this isn't your fault. This is like USPS's thing, but they tried to deliver it and they couldn't deliver it. And now they're saying they're gonna send it back to you. So like, is it possible if you receive this package that was originally supposed to go to me, can you send it to me at a different address? So like one that I know won't get refused. And they emailed back and they were like, yeah, no worries. Like, which one did you get? We'll just go ahead and send you the almond butter. And so the almond butter should be on its way. I should be getting the almond butter after what, like six weeks? six weeks of waiting except i just i know it's going to be worth it like the mocha almond butter is going to be worth it i think those are all the stories that were left open-ended other than my gem but we already talked about that this video so we don't need to talk about it again i think those are all the stories that are left open-ended like i've already mentioned class tonight at 6 30 i'm starving i'm tired <laughs> i don't want to go to class <laughs> and it's only the second week of class <laughs> A 
another day done friday check and i actually don't go back until thursday of next week because mlkj day is on monday and so oh gosh let's me know it's friday um and so it's a holiday state holiday so i don't go in and today went well honestly like there was a good mix of doing stuff without being too overwhelmed like it wasn't monday's level but it was a little bit more than yesterday i saw the kid i needed to see honestly all was good all was well tonight we might be going out to dinner tpd on that i really don't know i want to do more for my class that i'm teaching tomorrow because as you know i am stressed by that um, um, yeah. but I know like it will be okay I just I'm stressed about like actually doing it but let's see where the night takes me 9 a.m. tomorrow it's go time for that class riding bikes along the beach squeaking sand beneath our feet water is so clear and blue all my dreams are coming true there's a heart and that's a long I like singing you this song I'm about to start that class, that first class. It's 8.38 right now. It like officially starts at nine, but I just like open up the classroom early. So students, my students can come in and like get situated whatever online, like I mentioned. I am stressed. I know it's gonna be okay. There's the like anxiety tactic. that's like, just take yourself down, like in your head, take yourself down the worst case scenario and see if you're still fine. Because really like you will be still fine. And I've done that. I came like worst case scenario. No, like nothing really bad can happen. Like nothing bad can happen to me. It's it's fine and yet I'm still just nervous because I think it's just it's new you know so I don't want to like screw anything up or screw these kids up like but I <laughs> It's okay. Last night, we went out to dinner at a brewery in Atlanta, which I didn't take any footage of because I was just focused on the food. But Zach's parents are in town. He has a meet today, his little senior meet, which I'll be here teaching instead. But we'll see him afterwards and see how he swam. <sighs> I'm stressed. Send a little prayers for me, please. 8.39, oh golly gee. It's 12 p.m. I'm done. I'm brain dead, but I'm done. So take that at what you will. Honestly, like the first class went really well. There weren't any huge technical difficulties or anything, which I was really nervous about. <laughs> Even in my dream last night, it was like nobody could join the class and I didn't know what to do. Like it was okay. Um, It felt like a three hour sprint just cause there was like so much to cover in the first class. And I think that the first class is more like that than like other classes are. Like the future classes that I'll do with them. Like I think this first one was kind of the most intense. At least that's what I'm telling myself so that it looks like good. That's, you know, whatever. Look how red my cheeks are. Yeah, I feel dead. I feel deceased. If you're one of the new subscribers, <laughs> sorry that this is what you're getting for the little outro clip that I'm doing, but we like to keep it real around here while still being cute sometimes, but this is real, this is me. I'm so glad that you came along for the week in my life. I'm not sure yet how long this vlog is gonna be. I edited part of it, but I haven't edited all of it yet. But this week, like my week felt excessively long. <laughs> Um, and so we'll see if the vlog reflects that or not. I'm a little bit worried just based on like how long and full of stuff this week felt that future weeks I'm gonna burn out just because so really like in the upcoming semester February is kind of the worst. I think February is the worst then comes March Which is like kind of the worst but a little bit better and then April and May are a lot better as far as like my schedule goes with like being busy and everything. And so I think I'll feel good like once the worst is behind me, but just the fact that knowing that like the worst is in front of me. And by that, I just mean like literally like I'll be teaching more and so I have more hours of my day taken up and like the prep time needed for that and everything. But the fact that the worst is in front of me just makes me kind of like dread it. But also I'll still be engaging in my self care. I'll still plan on doing YouTube videos because this is, though it sometimes is work, it's like fun work, you know, it's a creative outlet work. I really like that actual like editing process, the filming process, the trying to switch it up sometimes, the like talking with people in the comments, like this is fun for me, but it is like, it does take hours of my week. So I'll need to be very intentional about rest <laughs> and about like mental rest is what I'm realizing. Cause like right now I'm not physically exhausted. Mm, I could nap, but I'm not like physically exhausted. I was standing up that whole time. So like my legs are a little bit tired, but also I preferred that over like sitting the whole time, but mostly I'm mentally exhausted at the current moment. So that'll be more relevant, I think, as we go into the future of this year, but it'll be good. It'll be okay. I'll make sure to make sure my mental health doesn't go anywhere to the best of my ability. Make sure I'm actually like 
resting as needed and recharging as needed and trying not to overexert myself despite the busy schedule. I am so glad that you were here for this week in my life though. I think my plan for the rest of the day is just kind of lay on the floor, probably drink some water. I think that's why my cheeks are pink. I think I need to drink some water. If you've made it to this point in the video and you are not subscribed, I don't know why because obviously I feel like we're vibing like a little bit if you're at least to this point. So go ahead and subscribe. I think what the like button does is it helps YouTube promote the videos. And honestly, I'm getting a little bit close to monetization. And so that would be nice. <laughs> so, but I appreciate you just for watching this video. I appreciate you for being here and best wishes to you and your week. <laughs> and I'll see you the next time. I'll see you next time.